we, what's the first thing we notice about the bee nectar this week? Kyla Groom. Kyla Groom, a long time. What do, what do we, what do we notice? They're kind of the number one. How many bars are there? Three. There are three, right? Why are there only three? <laughs> three was nine people. <laughs> because <laughs> because right. three people were absent, right? And we're also missing two people from class today. So that's something that we need to keep in mind. Also, though, um, there were some people that were here on Tuesday when I was out of class for the field trip and um, may not have done the best uh, in terms of the work completion and getting things done. Uh -huh. I came. And then this person we got to. Yeah, I heard it. I know there was a, you were just absent from a lot of stuff, right? But these are our bean earnings for the week, okay? So I just want to give you guys uh, kind of a zoom out of where we were for this week. Um, we have our bean earnings for the past three weeks, okay? So week 26 was not last week, but the week before. Um, that was obviously a week where um, there were a lot more beans that were given out. Week 27 was last week, and then week 28 was this week, all right? Um, so what's, any standout things that we notice here? I don't like them. Oh, uh, Oscar keep getting all these beans. Oh, that, that was that was for week twenty six. Well, week so, well, I'm saying, Kyle, why do you think Oscar gets all the beans? Because he reads He reads a lot. Is that the only thing that Oscar does? He answers questions, mm -hmm. reads a lot. No, every question. Every question he tries to answer, right? It's my fault. Why is it my fault? Because you pick on him, you know. I pick on him. I he he raises his hand literally for every for every question. I sometimes I give other people time, but Oscar just sometimes I'll sit there for a little while and there'll be nothing and Oscar's quick to he, he answers the question. So I will say maybe I that's a little feedback for me, right? Is maybe I should give a little bit more think time and pause for a second, then call an Oscar if nobody raised their hand. But also my question to you guys is even with think time sometimes Oscar will answer be the one that has the one that's up. Cold calling? No. How do you guys feel about popsicle sticks? <laughs> no. Right. Raise your hand if you want popsicle sticks. Raise your hand if you don't want popsicle sticks. So if I like pulled like I pulled popsicle sticks out of a cup and it was like whoever I pulled had to answer the question. So if you want popsicle popsicle sticks, raise your hand. You should put that wheel thing there. If you don't want popsicle sticks, raise your hand. Oh, I don't All right, so you're outvoted. I got Sorry, what's up? You should, you should do like that wheel, the wheel on writing. Oh, no, I'm here for English. English? No. Uh, who's, who's your English teacher? Miss Gray. Miss Gray? No, I'll no, talk to Miss Gray about that one. All right, I want you guys a little bit more data before we continue our conversation. So, which so far has been good. Um, this is our bean earnings, our totals by person, put into a pie. All right, so take a look at this pie, right? So, by color. This is the percentage of beans that you earned for the class across the, last, across the last three weeks. What do we notice about this pie? Kyla grew. Kyla grew. All right. I don't know. You're number two. Number one in my one, number one in my heart. Number two in the pie for sure, right? Um, who's our number one earner? Oscar. And we've already established some of those trends. Um, what about you guys that aren't Oscar, <laughs> who we've talked about a lot here? Um, what, how are we feeling about this? Did I not, not, not about you. We've already <laughs> talked about you. How, how are we feeling about this? Um, Alex, I should come to class more. True. How about you, Kyle? How do you feel about it? I should be a dumb I'm just asking you how you feel. It could be a good feeling, bad feeling. Just how do you feel? Participate. Participate in class more, maybe? How about you, Erica? Um, I don't about Try to answer the question. Yeah. What's your question? Yes. Let other students participate. Let other students participate, right? That's feedback for me, right? Because like sometimes I call on Oscar a little bit too much. Maybe I do lean on you. You had a quick answer the question, and I might miss other people as they're answering questions. Now, uh, something I'm going to show you guys. <coughs> Since we did earn our class-wide award today, I uh, brought some brownies, obviously, um, and I baked them. I baked them in the shape of a circle. What does a circle look a lot like? The pie. The pie. Should we cut these brownies and give a quart, yeah. and give people the amount of brownies that they earn according to the percentage of beans that they earn for the class? Yes. Does that feel fair? No. All right, well, pause, pause, pause. 
So the question is, does that feel fair? I heard yeses and noes. Let's go down the road. So Oscar, does that feel fair? Yes, we do. Why does it feel fair? Because I get the more brownies. You get the more brownies, okay? What about you, Kyla? Does that feel fair? No, because Oscar gets more brownies. <laughs> no, because Oscar gets more brownies. What about you, Alex? Does that feel fair? No? Are we on the phone? No, okay. Um, so Alex says that doesn't feel fair. What about you, Erica? Doesn't feel fair? So why doesn't it feel fair? Because you didn't, you didn't get more, or Alex got more. Oh, some people get more, right? So my, I guess my, my feedback for you, my question for you is, if beans represent the way that we contribute to class by answering questions, by being engaged, by going above and beyond, why shouldn't a person who does more in class get more of the reward than anyone else? Because if we look at it, the way that we earn our reward, how do we earn our reward? Uh, but how do we? How does the class earn the reward? Well, by well, not just by one person getting all the beans. Like, what? What do we do to get a reward? How does Mr. Lab be like? Okay, I'm gonna bring brownies in today. We fill the jar. We fill the jar up, right? So technically, who put the most beans in this jar? According to this, who put the most beans out? There's like one individual that put the most beans in, right? Followed by. So why shouldn't the person who put the most beans in the jar get the most of the reward? Why? So fair, fair. That's a that's a word that keeps getting thrown out. Why is it not fair that Oscar, who did the most in class, participated? What's it? Listen, participated the most, answered the most questions, was engaged the most, should get the most of the reward. Why is that not fair? Because How did he get help from his other classmates? Were you, were you like, hey, Oscar, raise your hand every time Oscar raised his hand? Yeah. No. Alex was? Uh -huh. That would require you to realize the question was being asked and raise your hand. I was giving the answers. You were giving him all the answers? All right. What are you doing now? So, I'm, I'm obviously not going to do that. I'm not going to give the person who put the most beans into the jar the most of the reward. I don't think fair is the right, right word that I want to use. Um, I just want to acknowledge that sometimes, like to your point, Kyla, maybe I'll call on other people more frequently. I sometimes might lean on Oscar because he's quick to answer a question. And if I'm trying to get through class quickly, I may not give enough think time or um, I may not notice someone else who has his hand up because Oscar's hand is so quick to go up. Um, but I do want to, I do want to celebrate, though, um, each individual that has contributed to class, and Oscar does give a lot to this class. I can tell you that when we had that one day that Oscar wasn't here, what was that like for us? Boring. It was a boring class, right? Were people answering? It was a very boring class. <laughs> if you think it wasn't boring, it, we were struggling to get through stuff. How many times did I have to stop at the front of the board and just stare at everyone? <laughs> at least three times, right? <laughs> so if we could all, if we could all work to contribute more to class, answer more questions, class would number one be less boring, number two we'd fill up that jar more quickly. Just some food for thought, okay? What I want you guys to do is flip your little sheets of paper over, okay? On the back side we have some more um, questions that we're going to answer. Thank you, Alex. These are going to be some goal setting questions, right? So just like we set a goal for last week, we're going to work on setting a goal for this upcoming week. The difference is we're going to do smart goals today, which are a little bit more specific and not as big, okay? So let's start with some reflection questions. Let's take two minutes. Um, next week, I want to improve or stay the same, and then give me two ways you plan to do this, either improve or stay the same. Let's take two minutes at a zero, and then we'll pair up and reflect with a partner. 